today we are gonna make a little bit different reading because I had a feeling like we need to a little bit focus on you now. Um, we are all the time uh, covering videos such as future spouse and I know that you love them but I think that the major part of attracting your future spouse and manifesting your future spouse is actually removing the blockages um, that you have. So in today's reading we are going to explore the blockages that you have and I'm going to take these And we are going to start with them because we want to see what blockages are there. And we're going to support this, uh, these cards that we are going to reveal in a second uh, with a little bit of tarot and oracle cards. So, okay, great. We need one more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it like that. And I also want to take a few of these. Just a moment. I want to take one, two, and one, two. Okay, let's make a order from this chaos. <laughs> okay, so we have how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? And this is definitely our first card together with... Do you see it? Together with with the uh, King of Wands reversed and protected. Okay. Then uh, the second card that we received is Am I apologizing for my truth? Very important. Blank card. Okay. And we have receive. Okay. The third, we have, how can I be more flex flexible right now with eight of cups and calm. And the last card that we have here is, am I clear on what my soul really wants? This one was standing like this. Uh, seven of cups. And energy healing okay so pile number one these are your cards and let's dive into your blockages so first with first one we see how can I uh, infuse more se uh, self-love and compassion into my daily life why because it seems that you are giving your energy and love to other people you know it's not going to you that's obvious with this uh, king of wands here we see that you're clearly uh, denying yourself some kind of pleasures or having fun or going to places or doing some stuff because you don't feel secure um, doing them and you're not feeling secure doing them because you think that maybe something bad will happen maybe that will not be okay towards someone else I mean we have this king of wands reversed so that means you're not in your element uh, it's almost like you are constantly constraining yourself and you're not uh, allowing yourself to get out you know from this route it's almost feeling like either you are working too much either you are uh, focused on something or somebody and it's like the energy is going towards that towards work or towards that person and it's nothing is left for you so I feel like you get up in the morning and you go to bed at the evening and what you had from the day nothing you give everything to others or to to the object of your attention now I definitely think that this could be fixed and uh, that is why we are here to open a little bit more cards and to see do we have any kind of solution for this. So we have a uh, wheel of fortune together with, just a moment, wheel of fortune together with the hangman okay so you need to change and switch the perspective okay that is very important the way how you see the things right now at this moment is not a good way of seeing things and um, maybe you are in some kind of dilemmas maybe you are not sure should you do something or not dilemma is on wheel of fortune so maybe some kind of opportunities are even presenting to you but you're missing them you're not taking them it's like you're passing them by 
um, it, it feels like, uh, like you don't want to allow yourself to be happy or you don't want to allow to yourself to be relaxed on in, or in better feeling. And this is something that you really need to work uh, with because with the hangman, the vine is strongly telling you switch the perspective. You deserve love. You deserve luck. You deserve beautiful happenings in your life and you have to make this space into your day where you do things that make you happy so that you recharge your battery and you have more power and acceleration for continuation. Am I apologizing for my truth? Maybe because with this empty uh, card here, we see that you don't even know why you are doing it. Receive. It could be that in order to receive some kind of balance in some kind of relationship you are having, that could be a business relationship, friendship relationship, love relationship, doesn't matter. It is, a, um, let's say, connection with your surroundings. You are keeping things for yourself. You're not expressing your thoughts, your opinion, your mind. You're not opening up. Why? Because you think that if you do, you're going to um, maybe, uh, let's say, not receive approval from somebody or not an open door. Somebody could get mad or somebody could have some kind of bad feelings towards you afterwards. So, you know, with this blank card, you don't even know exactly why you are doing it, but you know that it's not good and you know that you want to actually express much, much more. But it's like you're keeping yourself... Um, you know, apologizing for my truth. So it is, it is highly time, pile number one, that you become what you are and who you are. Because imagine this. Imagine you pretend to be someone you are not and you meet the person of your life and they simply say, okay, this is not the person I want to be with just because they see the false picture of you. Have you ever thought about that? Well, if not, then think about that. Be authentic, be yourself. And um, and the divine is saying to you with Knight of Wands and with uh, Ace of Swords, it is saying to you that it is new beginnings are always rough and tough. But uh, if we just cut the way to the truth, because we have this beautiful Ace of Swords that is always around the truth, you know. And here we have, am I apologizing for my truth? It's like sometimes we have to little bit risk with people, uh, despite we could have that fear of rejection and we could feel that maybe because if we say what we really feel or we, what we really think, it's not going to be welcomed. But then maybe think about it, uh, <laughs> then you are not maybe welcomed, you know, and this is maybe not relationship that should be there or not in that form. So sometimes we have to risk and be authentic and speak our truth without apologizing for it and simply observing and seeing who sticks around us, you know, to be determined in ourselves. So please stop apologizing for the things that you feel and what you say and what you really Think, because that is you, pile number one. So be you, do you, you know, be you. Come into this night of wands energy where you actually don't give a damn, you know, what other people think. Just speak your mind and see what is going to happen. I think that maybe you could even be very, very surprised with results, how they could defer. You see, maybe with that kind of attitude, you will actually impress people. And now from this fear position, you're actually leaving the opposite impression. With how can I be more flexible right now? We see that you're quite stiff in the way of how you are thinking and how you are being. And uh, that is that is the thing. I think that if something you don't like or something is not suitable for you, you don't speak your truth. You just leave. And that is not the way how we should do, you know, like with this calm, this is what gives you calm. You don't want to argue. You don't want to go into it. You don't want to discuss. You don't want to fight for things. You just leave you know you just abandon things pile number one this is like a little bit cowardly i have to say and this is not the way how we pursue things life how i can be more flexible is the solution you know how you can be more flexible let's see what the divine is saying to you because again maybe look at this ten of pentacles and let's see another card maybe the thing is that if you just a little bit lower your wall you could really look at this seven of pentacles oh my god pile number one so this is the, the, the trick is here the trick is in not giving up not retreating and not abandoning things that are not perfect okay so if you see that something is not perfect and it is the problem is in you not expressing yourself your truth your mind your thoughts 
and then you just leave don't do it look at what is it uh, behind the doors you know if only you would stay if only you would check peek you know we have this beautiful ten of pentacles and seven of pentacles meaning you do have to put an effort in uh, in 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 this game you have to stay and you have to tolerate you have to be in the good and bad so that you could receive good at the end you know it's like uh, the divine is saying to you there is something extremely valuable here ten of pentacles is a beautiful wealth card abundance card and you know the trick is not to not to be stiff be more open Look at this animal. So go back a little bit to your animalistic roots. Don't be so rational. You are too much in your mind. You are thinking. You are overthinking everything. And then how you are rationalizing everything. Everything, you know, um, comes from your brain, not from your heart. With animal, I feel like you need to feel more. You need to go and step into the feelings more. Not so much in the mind. And with Seven of Pentacles, I see that if you want to really get something you know you have to build it you have to put effort and time in it so don't run away from responsibility this is running away from responsibility because it is easier because if you are alone or if you are going on your own then you can do how you want and if you are with other people you have to bend you have to be flexible divine is saying to you be flexible bend step into your animal side feel feel instinct uh, intuition you know not only mind 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 thoughts 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 am i clear on what my soul really wants you're confused at this period we can see clearly there are many things that you want and you want them simultaneously um <laughs> there are things that you are dreaming about and there could be many it could be about wealth, it could be about a partner, it could be about future family, it could be about reputation, about success in your work, and so on and so on. I see that you are a very ambitious person and you have a lot of things on your mind. Again, we are coming to your mind because, you know, this is a card of fantasizing. You are too much in your mind, pile number one. So what is the energy healing right here? is stepping away from these mind games that you are continuously doing because they're keeping you stuck here and that 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 brings you to the point that you don't know what you want just a second let's see what are our, uh, what are the advices here the magician and let's see we have eight of pentacles so again, you know, uh, with the magician, it is like you have the powers that you don't even know you have. You're a very skillful person. You're incredible, actually, by number one. Wow. And with magician, you can do impossible possible, just like that. So don't doubt yourself. Maybe deep, deep down within you, within yourself, you are asking yourself, can I do it? Or we can say, can I do it all? Because, uh, you know, am I clear on what my soul wants? And here we say, we, here we see, I want all. <laughs> and then we have a magician who is actually capable of doing it all. And this is the turn in the, in the reading. This is, you know, like switch in the reading. I was expecting that the wine will say to you, choose one thing, but actually, no, for you, it is completely different message, pile number one. For you, the, the main message here is like, you can do whatever you want. You're capable of doing whatever you want. If you want all, you will get all. Simple, simple as that. So be clear on what your soul really wants and make some kind of priorities that is definitely there. You have to put numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, which order you want to get things, yes. And But uh, don't give up on anything you want, actually. The divine is saying to you that all of the dreams that you have can come true and you can make them true. With this eight of pentacles here, we can see that you can put the fantasy in the motion, but you need to start working on it more. So again, the, the advice here is go away from your mind and pull yourself more into the heart and into the doing, you know. <laughs> it's like you're not doing enough. We see the gesture. It's like mm, the majority of things are happening within you, within your mind or within your imagination. So this needs to go into the 3D world. Start working on it. Look at this beautiful eight of pentacles. Start pursuing things that you want. Start manifesting. Start, start working on them. And it seems with this magician that, that popped up here that if somebody can do it, that's you. So <laughs> you don't need to, you don't have to be afraid or doubt yourself. Okay. 
It's a beautiful reading, part number one. I'm so happy to deliver it. Hope that this will help you in this period of this time with these blockages that you can really easily remove because you are the magician. If you are the first time here watching my videos and you like them, make sure to subscribe, like, share or comment, guys. That's how I know that you are there. So I appreciate that a lot. And for everyone who are there, I want to say a big thank you. And uh, I see you. <laughs> I see you. I read your comments. I'm very, very grateful for everything that you are doing, for helping me um, spreading the words and the messages that I think that are important. And I want to wish you all the best. Beautiful day or evening, wherever you are. Hope to see you with my next reading. Bye. Hello, guys. We are here with your next reading. And this reading is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be about you, not about your future spouse this time. Why? Because I think that... Uh, in order to manifest your future spouse, in order to move from the dot to move in a good direction, we firstly need to clean up, uh, you know, ourselves. We need to prepare ourselves. So in this reading, we are searching for the blockages that you still have that could be and can be and should be, um, you know, removed and cleaned from your system. So we are going to see what is going on here and uh, how you can actually improve, uh, improve your situation at this time. Okay. I think that uh, blockages are always there in one way or another and <laughs> nobody can escape them. But if we know how to deal with them, we are not going to have any kind of problem. Uh, it is only, you know, in our minds. So to detect the problem, to resolve the problem, we need to detect it first. You know, we have to be aware what the problem is. And that is why we are here. That is why we are doing this reading. To actually understand what is the blockage that we are keeping right now at this moment. So we are going to watch your reading like this. And then we are going to sort things out and see what is the solution. We have how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? Interesting. Um, when was the last time I danced freely? But yeah, let's do it like this. Um, eight of swords reversed and we have teaching okay when was the last time i danced freely with the page of wands reversed very interesting uh and we have let's move this a little bit up and we have surrender okay then we have what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships and then we have uh, six of wands reversed. Whip, create. And as a last card, we have how can I be more flexible right now? Interesting. Similar cards like in <laughs> pile number one. Very interesting. And I was really shuffling like crazy. And travel. Yeah, but the messages are completely different. So let's start, guys. Let's see what is going on around here. Um, with how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? We see that obviously you are focusing on something or on someone. It could be job, it could be relationship, it could be family, it could be something that is taking all of your energy, something is in the focus right now that it is not you. And the vines just want to switch your attention, like, hey, <laughs> take care of you because you are there too. So this is almost, you know, like I'm reading for myself as well. I mean, it's a very similar stage concerning this, uh, this side. And yeah, definitely, there are periods of our life when we just notice that things got out of the track. Like either we are giving too much time or energy to things that actually should not be on the first place. Now, with this eight of swords reversed, we see that the reason why you are doing this, why you are putting focus on other things is basically distraction. Distraction from what? From past hurt or pain. So there is some kind of thing that happened to you that you are still healing from. And because it is a card of swords, we see that it is inside of you. It is like a process of healing where you're trying to distract yourself simply and maybe fulfill your time and, and maybe make yourself occupied so that you don't think too much about that thing. Whatever it is, I see that uh, 
you are trying to move uh, all of the attention that it is there from yourself to other things. And that is why we also have this teaching. So it's almost like you're putting that focus on other people, maybe teaching them lessons that you pass that you don't want other people to go through. And, and this is something very beautiful from your sides. But in this process, you also forgot about yourself. So let's see what the divine is saying to you, in which way you can remove this blockage. Why you even have, you know, like this, why you came to the point where you are. Three of Pentacles, and we have also, let's take one more. The Magician. Okay, so so the divine is saying to you that uh, definitely something connected with other people, some social work, uh, or teamwork so working with other people can benefit you a lot at this moment and it is definitely something you have to do so if you are now at this moment focused uh, on anything that is making you isolated okay from others then the vine is implying then you need others you know you need others teamwork something that you will be working in team with other people with the magician it's also uh, we also feel that your skills are highly you know product you're very productive right now so you are very 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 productive right now you see we receive crowd so that means that you have something to do with other people at this moment either you I don't know, it's, it feels like with this teaching under now, the, the picture is becoming clear. And I, I feel that you need to include more people in your life. So how can you infuse more self-love? I think that maybe by sharing, sharing what you feel and how you feel more with others, you know, will bring some kind of relief from it. Rather than escaping, rather than distracting yourself with other things that are not connected. So I think that you should definitely surround yourself with people. You should talk more, you should be open more. But at the same time, I see that there is a period for you in this life that you need to do something very magnificent, like the magician is. Something that you didn't even know that you have. You possess some kind of talent that it is there that you either you discovered it recently or you are going to discover it very soon. So, you know, keep that up. It is very interesting. And I feel something is happening here in your life that, like I said, something is going to be very, very, maybe surprising even for you. When was the last time I danced freely? And this is this stiffness. This is when we feel that we don't have time. We don't have that freedom to be ourselves. When was the last time I danced freely? When was the last time you danced freely? When you went out with your friends or to some kind of celebration or any kind of party to actually surrender your energy, you know, not being all the time in charge and in control and simply just, you know, <laughs> uh, going back into the fiery element that it is suggested here, you know, that you completely remove. It's like almost you're not living, you know, what what is it your work what is it? What is give, taking so much uh, attention from you that you don't have that space for having fun? So this is something that I also see here that you need to have more time. Uh, last time free dance doesn't have to even be that you don't, you have to go outside of the place to dance. You just need to express yourself. Dancing is a physical expression. That means that our movement is liberated from uh, mind. You know, when we dance, we don't think. We just go with the flow. We just go with the flow. And Libra justice. Yeah, I think that you just need to relax. I mean, I think that everything is going good in your life. I don't think so that you have some kind of major problems at this moment. And I think that you don't feel it. You know, you're not grateful for it. I think that you should stop a little bit. And you should actually think about what you have and how far you came. And you should congratulate yourself and you should in a way, you know, like tap yourself on the back, you know, tap yourself on the back and say to yourself, I deserve this, you know, boom, look at this, boom. So I deserve this. I came somewhere, I was really, really working long on hard or I was patient, for example, if it's not work, then I was patient and look how far I came. So I do deserve this moment of relaxation, you know, to just switch off and do something for my soul. And if it is dancing, it is dancing. If it is singing, it is singing. If it is just walking in the nature, then it is that. But it is something that it is making you truly, truly yourself and happy. So do that pile number two. 
what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? And this, we have this victory card that it is reversed together with create. So here again, we sense some kind of feeling of other people draining you. Maybe, you know, some people are used to you being around whenever they want or need. And they are using that, you know. Look at this Four of Swords. Very interesting card in this kind of uh, combination of cards. Because the one is saying to you, you know, freeze yourself a little bit concerning some people. So we have two, actually. We have two groups of people here. We have people that you need to distance yourself from. And we have people that you have to, you know, welcome back into your life. This is how I see it, you know. Like with this Four of Swords card, directly we see that you need to, you know, look at this figure. This figure is like frozen in a in ice cube, some kind of ice, you know, like a coffin almost. It's not moving and nobody can reach it. So it's like make yourself a little bit less available for the people who are using you, pile number two. There is no other way to say it. Some people are always calling you or needing you when they need you. And when they when you need them, they are not really so available and they have their own stuff. So it's about the time that you little bit, you know, freeze yourself. Not let them to know that you're always available. And that is also this card. It is saying to us, make boundaries, you know, create boundaries within the relationship. People cannot just come and use you, okay? That is very important because then you will be able to make and create space for people who actually deserve your attention and to deserve your time more. With the Prince of Wands here, I see that uh, you are a very generous person, you know, like you are going to jump in and help everyone. You have time for everyone and for everything. You love helping people. This is what I feel. And because of that, you know, not everyone is... Uh, going to appreciate it. Some people are going to take it for granted. So this is very important um, with, we, within my relationship. So these are the people who are close to you, who are with you. And I'm, I'm not saying abandon these people, remove yourself from these people. These people can stay in your life and maybe they are a very important part of your life and you cannot remove yourself from them or you don't want. But create the boundaries, you know, like don't be all the time available. Maybe you can do that by simply, you know, like not replying always. Or maybe not, you know, having that, some other plans with which here, you know, I think that maybe you should do some kind of rituals concerning your spiritual life. It could be also meditation or something else. And when those people call you to ask you, no, I cannot, I'm on yoga. No, I cannot. I am now meditating. I'm now, you know, like burning candles and talking with <laughs> the divine, you know, I don't know. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Like, um, put more of your focus on some kind of spiritual stuff and try to create these boundaries so that people do not drain you with the, which also I feel like draining energy, like people are will drain you, come and drain you. Don't let them. Okay. If you are, if you are somebody who is very spiritual and we know witches are, then create, create some kind of uh, boundary around, create some kind of shield or something like that, you know? How can I be more flexible right now? Talks about, sorry, this is a train <laughs> passing. How can I be more flexible right now? It means you're too stiff. You're doing things over and over in the same way. It's like almost you got into the root. And when we are in the root, we cannot move from this dot. So if we are all the time repeating the same. It's like we are in like a hamster, like a hamster in that wheel, you know. I have a feeling like you're seeking the travel and it is not coincidence that just now that the train too, too is, you know, ringing and it is passing and we are talking about the travel right in this moment. So I have a feeling like you do need some kind of travel, some kind of escape, some kind of adventure, something, but uh, you are not flexible enough to create a space for it. And uh, let's see what the divine is saying to you, pile number two, concerning that. Okay, so we have Ten of Wands, very interesting, and we also have the Devil. Okay, so basically you are self-sabotaging yourself, and uh, and I think that Ten of Wands, it's like uh, you're already tired, 
but you know you're pushing you're pushing devil is sometimes connected with ego and the way how we want others to see us as uh, hard workers as perspective people successful people or just simply good you know sometimes people will do many things that they don't actually want just to preserve the picture that other people are seeing them as a good person that's not authentic goodness let's say it like that because you're doing something not with your heart but you know with your mind calculating how they are going to perceive you or or see you so this is also not good if you are at the moment a little bit um under the ego spell and you see that it is too much for you already you cannot handle it anymore but you are continuing and continuing and continuing the divine is definitely saying to you get a break you know get a break take a travel go somewhere this is definitely going to break this uh, cycle of your routine and you're going to feel reborn look at this couple so if you are in a relationship that this means that you know like you have to spend time more with your partner and if you are not in relationship then you need to grab somebody that you really feel comfortable and doesn't have to be a love partner it can be friend it can be sister brother it can be anyone you really feel yourself uh with and take this person and go to the travel go to the travel you know just go away pile number two this is your reading i hope that we went through these blockages and the way how you could sort them out it's not easy but it's always possible you have this beautiful magician here and you also have so many cards like this boom that we know that you are going to kick ass so don't be afraid just go ahead straight towards your goals remove the blockages and things are going to be much more easier for you if you're new to my readings and if you love them make sure to subscribe like share or comment guys i know that you're there when you comment so i really really appreciate it and for the rest of you who are already there i want to say a big thank you thank you for being there thank you for helping me to grow this channel and to spread the world words to the world this is definitely the mission i'm on and i'm very grateful for your help and everything that you are doing um, stay good and positive and optimistic and i want to wish you all the best beautiful day or evening wherever you are hope to see you with my next reading bye hello guys today we are going to make a little bit different reading uh we are usually making a lot of spouse future spouse videos but i wanted us to do this one now because i think that in manifesting our future spouse we also need to uh, take into consideration our statement how do we feel and uh oh, okay how do we feel and what we need to actually remove as a blockage so that we could move more freely uh, we are going to take we are going to say talk about four blockages in this reading so we will see what is going on there and uh, and then we are going to also search and seek for the divine guidance to see how we can actually remove the blockages that we are experiencing at this moment i think that uh, blockages are a normal thing we are all the time experiencing it it's life and life brings us all the time new lessons blessings uh you know situation that can and will improve us um overall so i think that is natural we should not escape from them but we should also learn how to deal with them i think that is very important segment of it all so we will take two more cards and then we are going to dive in your reading then we are going to ask also for guidance how to deal with each of them let's see your cards file number three what passion am i ready to pursue mm. with eight of pentacles reversed and then we have environment am i afraid to be seen interesting with the wheel of fortune upright this is very beautiful and receive very beautiful what if it isn't true <laughs> this card is also very interesting with the knight of swords reversed and freedom and we have what am i most afraid of losing with queen of wands reversed and yoga okay pile number three everything is clear so we can start 
What passion am I ready to pursue? It's almost like you have been working on something very hard. You put a lot of effort in it, maybe a lot of time. You are trying to get to some kind of goal, but there is no real passion in it. It's almost like those are the steps that you need to make to bring you to the goal you need to receive. But when you look at it, when you look at yourself, when you look at everything, you see that the way how you are doing and going, it's not actually something that makes you very happy or doesn't fulfill you very much. It doesn't bring so much joy because there is no passion in it. I think that this is what you lack because I think that your life at the moment is uh, spinning around the things that are not bringing you this, you're not passionate enough towards them. You see, with this eight of pentacles here, it's almost like you are losing the speed or the enthusiasm or something like that. It's like you are not anymore dedicated to what you're doing fully. It's like you're getting a little bit tired. And with this environmentalist, it's almost like you want to change your ambience. Um, yeah, you are where you are and the ambience is good, but it's like... You would be much more happier in a different ambience than you are right now. Let's see what the divine wants to say and offer as some kind of solution for this blockage within you. Wow. Knight of Wands. Together with Seven of Swords. Okay, this I was not expecting. Let's see what is about this Seven of Swords crowd okay so there are many interpretations of this card and some of them are very weird especially when we have reading connected with uh, with the love readings the seven of swords can be very significantly uh, significant part of the reading but in this combination with crowd and with knight of wands as an advice you know i would say that you don't have to always uh play by the rules okay so this is a little bit weird advice we are used to uh, divine always giving us advices like be good be you know like be perfect those kind of things but this is not the case guys so you're literally receiving um, some kind of like a hint like you don't have to be always so stiff and you don't have to always uh, you know play according to the rules exactly on the rule book and so on I think that what the one is trying to tell you is to relax a little bit. You see, with this crowd, I usually get the feeling like go with the crowd. It's like if everyone is, for example, is if everyone in one uh, job, you are, you're doing some kind of job and everyone is putting tip in their own uh, wallet and you are the only one who is taking your tip and putting it outside to, to, for everyone to see, then, you know, the one is saying to you, <laughs> don't do that. Like, do what how others behave behave of course if it is not something extremely negative um do play the game by the rules that are there okay how the crowd is doing do it uh, as well because it is going to in a way it's going to help you to reduce okay to reduce the tension i think that because you are trying to do something very 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 strictly or you are following something very strictly and you are damaging yourself because no one is doing that around you. And you are like, I must say this, like a, like a, like a only fool there doing that, you know, like, and you feel it and it is like that. And you are not happy with that. I think the divine is just saying to you, just switch it, you know, like just do it how they do it. Just go with the flow. Don't take it to the heart and just leave it. I mean, maybe you are fighting for something within the system that it is not allowing you to win at this time. And the wine is saying to you, just go with the crowd at this time. There will be a moment where you will be able to switch that energy. I think that you, you are bounding yourself down, you know, with some kind of rules. And that's why the passion is actually going away. I think that you will gain the passion if you get a little bit more loose and more easy on yourself. Okay. With this Knight of Wands as well, like uh, this passion, this, this fiery energy is getting, you know, it's going away because you are, you know, you're cutting, you're cutting your own wings. So 
what passion are you ready to pursue? Yeah, think about it. Think what you want to do. Do these things as you need to do them. Don't do them overly hard on yourself and everything will be fine. Am I afraid to be seen? Wheel of fortune and receive? What is going on? What is going on here, pile number three? It looks to me like everything is going fine for you. You receive some kind of incredible opportunities where you could shine, where you could be you, where you could be yourself, but actually you are missing them because you are afraid. You're afraid to be seen. You don't want people to see you. You don't want people to discover you. And I think that, that there is a problem with receiving. So you have some kind of blockage of receiving. You don't have problem with giving, but you have problem with receiving. Let's see what the divine is giving us as, um, as some kind of potential solution to this blockage. So we have four of pentacles and we also have king of pentacles. Wow, this is a stone card. So basically what the divine is saying to you is that you need to get into the stability, earthy, down to earth mode. With four of pentacles and king of pentacles... Uh, divine is saying to you, go away from your mind, cutting, look, go away from your mind, cut away those fears, you know, like those fears needs to be cut away, remove them, liberate yourself from them, you don't need them, okay, because they are stopping you in some kind of opportunities that are coming your way that are really, really beautiful, um, I think that, uh -huh, you don't see it here. I think that, uh, but I want to place it here so that you can see. Am I afraid to be seen? Cut. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> don't be afraid to be seen. King of Pentacles is a beautiful figure that is uh, on the throne. It's in charge of their life. They know what they have. They know what they are. And they are not afraid to be seen. They are not afraid to be visible. They are having what they have and they are showing it not to brag themselves, not to uh, be to show that they are better than others, but just to show where they stand and who they are. So I think that maybe a little bit of self-confidence is needed here. And the best way to do that is to... Maybe to secure your financial position, because we have two financial cards. So maybe if you fi financially put yourself together, you know, maybe that uh, that's uh, some kind of fear of being seen is going to go away. So maybe to put your focus on uh, stabilizing your financial situation. And from there, you will gain a more confidence, self-confidence, and you will be able to reduce or cut these uh, irrelevant and, and actually stupid fears. Because you are beautiful, beautiful person. You are beautiful, shining, valuable person. Valuable. It, it reaches out with these coins. Valuable. You have a value. And don't be afraid to show that value. Don't be afraid to show that you are valuable. What if it isn't true with the Knight of Swords and Freedom is always talking about mind patterns that are negative. It is a bad self-talk. Always. What if it isn't true? That is what we are saying to ourselves in our mind. Like, I cannot do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not skinny enough, I'm not uh, beautiful enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not capable enough, I'm not fast enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. And this is that self-talk that it is uh, provoking us, keeping us in jail, literally, from the freedom that we are seeking, we are seeking. You see, the king of swords reversed. It means that uh, we are not speaking our truth to ourselves. The mind is producing bullshit. I'm sorry, but I have to say it like that because it is producing a lot of bull in your mind. So you are, you are producing insecurities and insecurities that are based on why, guys. So whatever you are in doubt with, you know, <laughs> ask yourself, what if it isn't true? You say to yourself, I'm not pretty enough. What if it isn't true? You say yourself, I'm not successful enough. What if it isn't true? What if your mind is lying to you? Ask yourself, what if your mind is lying to you? Let's see what the divine is saying to you concerning this blockage. Ten of wands, okay? It means that you really reach the point where you are having enough on your back. It's too much on your back. I see that. And the prince of sword. The prince of sword is, you know, is... 
divine is basically saying to you, you have to fight for this. It's not going to come easy. Your mind already has some kind of programs and created some kind of patterns. And it's like almost when you try to get out of it, your mind rolls back into this self negative, negative self talk. And this is a problem. Um, it's almost like you cannot, you cannot fight against it. It's a, it's a long and exhausting battle. But it is possible for you to win because with Prince of Swords, look at this card, you know, look at this. He is going fearless with the sword through everything, some kind of fog and some kind of air going. And you see that maybe he doesn't even see where he is going, but he is going and he is determined. And, and the sword is up, up, up in the air, it, which means the truth is going to win. The truth is going to win. I'm going to cut the way to the truth. So this is a fight that you need to do. And it is a fight inside of your mind. This is some kind of inner fight, inner struggle that you have to win to gain the freedom. By number three, um, I think that maybe uh, overall this stage, uh, you feel a little bit weak, like you're not yourself, you're not in your element. I think that is because of this, you know, you lose pa passion about the common daily things because you have to do something to gain some kind of goal. And I think that you sacrifice as many, sacrifice many things to reach the goal. And in this process of sacrificing, you sacrificed many spiritual and intellectual and mental and emotional things as well. And this is why these fights are appearing, you know, within yourself. You're asking yourself, you're questioning, are you good enough? What is your role in this world? You're going very deep, you know, with these cards, we see that you go very deep in questioning everything, yourself, others, situations, life. It's really a torture. Business. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> with the business, I definitely see, you know, the divine is saying to you, the key is in the business, the key is in the money. I don't know why, but the key is in the money, is in the wealth and in the security. I think when you fix the finances, guys, that, that will liberate you from the mental struggle as well. I think that this is actually the most dominant around here because I, I see a lot of um, instability energy concerning maybe the monetary, maybe the things are not as you want, you don't have enough or you're struggling with money or you don't have a stable job or the job that you're working is not bringing enough money. Something is constantly bringing us back to that topic. So divine is saying to you, just cut the bullshit out of your mind and just try to find this passion, you know, try to do it. Don't restrict yourself. Don't turn yourself into a zombie. What am I most afraid of losing with queen of wands reversed? And here we have yoga. Well, this one is also, also reflecting that one. What am I most afraid of losing? What? You know, passion. Again, Queen of Wands, a passion, desire for life, you know, the, the, the feeling that this life has a meaning, that life has a sense, that I want to live, I want to enjoy. That is what you are most afraid of losing, that, that everything will become pointless and meaningless and, and you stop enjoying it. And uh, we, we are going to receive some kind of uh, guidance also from the divine. We have seven of cups and we have strength. So basically, the divine is saying to you, when did you stop dreaming, pile number three? When did you stop dreaming? Why did you stop dreaming? Where are your dreams, advocate? And we are going to take one more, period. Yeah, I think that you are compromising everything, you know, like you cut, even if you had some kind of dreams, you said, okay, this is not the time of dream. This is the time of advocate period, you know, where I'm going to do what is what it needs to be done and I'm not going to dwell in some kind of, you know, dreams towards something that really makes me happy. I'm going to be very strong. And divine is saying to you, good, be strong. This is a very beautiful and good and positive trait. But I mean, don't give up your dreams. You can do both. You have the energy, you have the power. You just need to fix this mindset that you are not good enough or you are not doing as much as you want. And, and just to fix this financial situation, I think this will be the starting point of everything coming into order. Um, remember your dreams, pile number three. Remember what you wanted, what you wanted 10 years ago, okay? What you wanted 20 years ago, how your dreams changed and what you want now. 
Um, the vine is definitely telling you that you need to keep the strength of the body, but also of the mind and don't give up your dreams because they have to be there. When we have some kind of dream in the background, not only goals that we need to fulfill, but dreams, guys, that is different. Then that is pushing us towards finding the passion. And then we don't have anything to lose. You know, we don't have that fear. I mean, afraid, afraid. You know, I see there are a lot of fear, a lot of insecurities here. And divine is saying to you, there is nothing to be afraid. Everything is going how it needs to go. Everything is in a perfect order. You are on the right path. You are exactly where you need to be. Everything that you're experiencing is a part of your experience in this body, in this life. Everything is happening for your highest good, for your highest good, no matter that you don't see it right now. So basically, the divine is very, very comforting you. This reading is much, much different than other two readings. And I feel that um, it's not easy for you, pile number three. That is why I prolong it, you know. That is why I decided to make it a little bit uh, longer. With the intuition, I also want to say that you need to let your intuition flow. And you need to find things that will uh, eventually inspire you. So try to find some kind of sparks and try to find yourself within the system. This period will pass. I promise you, <laughs> nothing is forever. And in this material world, everything is changing. So don't worry, this is going to go away. Everything is going to be okay. This was your reading. I hope that it helped you in this moment, in this situation where you are. If you are new to my channel and you love my videos, make sure to subscribe, like, share or comment. When you comment, I know that you are there. That means a lot to me, guys. And for everyone who already there, I want to say a big thank you. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for everything that you are doing to making my channel grow and helping me to spread the messages to this world. It is definitely the mission I am on. So thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you with my next reading. Have a beautiful day or evening, wherever you are. Bye.